Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can take an Xpeeder application and deploy it in a Java Enterprise environment. So right now I have an application running that serves a REST API. So I'm going to take this application and I'm going to modify a few things so we can deploy it in the Tomcat web server. So I'll go into web, uh, NetBeans and here you can see I have the application running on the right side and on the left side I have the palm.xml file. So I'm going to stop my application and then I'm going to change the packaging inside the POM file to war. That's the extension that is used by Java EE. Then I need to rebuild the application. So I right click and select clean and build. And here you can see the packaging web app is successful. So now I can right click here and select Run. The first time you deploy the server it will ask you where you want to deploy it. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to select Apache Tomcat because I have a Tomcat server that I want to deploy it in. Uh, and uh, I'm going to select Do Not Remember since I want to have this choice each time. But you can select Remember Permanently if you want to keep using Tomcat. Then I press OK. Now you can see that the web server over here is starting. So, it will automatically op open a, a front page where you can enter, for example, the information needed to, to connect to the database. And this is since XP never stores your uh, login information. So I'm going to log into my database. And select uh, Initialize XP. And if you have a big database, this might take a while, but in my case, it went quite fast. So I'll go back to the front page, and now we can see that Xpeeder is initialized. And here I have a number of paths that has been uh, bound for me. So by clicking at them, I will get those responses. And of course, I can select another uh, span to uh, select from than the uh, default one. So yeah, that's all for this tutorial, and thank you for watching.